Hey Royals fans, it's Dylan Coyle, the Lions Roar, and you see I'm with my friend. Uh, I don't know if we have a name for him yet, we're going to call him uh, Leon, that's his name. Uh, let's throw Leon the teddy bear, it's teddy bear toss night, affiliation night, Gritty's going to be here. There's going to be a post game party at the Double Tree across the street after the game. There's a Corel Ustamenko bobblehead giveaway, my goodness, there's going to be so Santa's here. Santa is here. There's so many things going on at the Royals game tonight. The Royals take on the Adirondack Thunder in the back end of a home-and-home. -home. Lost last night. Looking to rectify that tonight. Looking forward to the game at 7 o'clock. Let's go down to the interview room to talk with Kirk McDonald, the head coach of the Reading Royals. Kirk Gustamenko had a career high in saves last night. What you think of his play coming back from a little bit of a strain? Uh, he's... He was really good. Um, made all the saves he had to make. Again, like most of the shots we kept to the perimeter. Um, you know, the, the three goals they scored were all good goals. Like, not good on our end, but like they executed. And, they, you know, can't give Usti any criticism on those. They were great A's and we didn't help them out. And then made the saves he had to make the rest of the game. But uh, you can't score one goal and expect to win. So, Going into tonight, what has to change then? Get to the net, play hard. Um, you know, in the story, um, like I said, nothing really happened in the game. Like it was a pretty much a perimeter game on both sides, in my opinion, after watching the game. And um, but if you're not going to work and move your feet and and do the things we talk about to give you success, success offensively, then you're going to lose. Like uh, you can't continue to play scoring one, two goals a game. And um, you know, either guys are going to have to buy in, or we're going to have to. You know, make changes. Max Molman scored his first career NHL goal last night. It's affiliation night. What has the affiliation between the Flyers and Royals meant to you as a head coach? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's affiliation. I mean, uh, just happy for Willie. Honestly, um, uh, you know, he deserves a ton of credit. He got there all on his own. Didn't get much help from anybody, <laughs> myself included, for scratching him early. And uh, when he got here, and just kept sticking with it. Great attitude. Really happy for him. You know, and. It's funny, like, he's just complaining about we don't want to get to the net. Like, you know, Willie's had success because he just outworks people and he gets to the net and um, doesn't want to be denied, and, and you see that. He just continuously takes guys' jobs and uh, earns earns a spot in the lineup everywhere he goes, and it's a credit to him, and uh, super happy for him. Like I said, like, he got there on his own with his own will and determination, and that's great to see. You're always happy for those guys. Awesome. Thank you to Kirk for spending a few minutes of our time to talk with us about the game tonight. Don't forget, Orange Ice at Santander Arena. The Adirondack Hunter are currently partaking in morning skate. Good blocker save right there. Orange Ice, I don't think it's ever been done before by a professional hockey team. Might be the first. It's to celebrate the Flyers and the Royals affiliation that got extended with an optional decision for year two earlier this season. By the way, lights. They're new and they're bright. They are so bright and they have different colors attached to them. We can go purple, orange, blue, red, green, yellow, I, every color in the spectrum. Can't wait to see it in action. Doors open at six o'clock for general admission, 545 for season ticket holders. This has been the Lions Roar. I'm Dylan Coyle. Can't wait to see everybody there and hopefully Gritty causes some chaos.